Good morning. We're here with Ralph White and myself, Mary Mullenhoff, to talk today about how to stamp out cold calling on our show today. Um, we are with Possibilities Unlimited, also known as Consulting to Win. Our website is www.consultingtowin.com. That's C-O-N-S-U-L-T-I-N-G, the number 2, W-I-N, dot com. And you can call in to ask all of your questions um, for our show today, because I'm sure those of you dying to cold call right now or wanting to know how to cold call can give us a call at 310-715-6709. Ralph, thank you for having me on the show. Mary, it's delighted to have you here. And I'm really excited about the possibilities of us talking about cold calling and actually stamping out cold calling, eliminating that possibility. Actually, you know, considering that if you're making a cold call, you're wasting a dime. That's right. So what's going on in the, in the universe of you know, creating possibilities in sales? What, what are you, what's opening up in, in your business? Well, one of the things I wanted to do first is kind of give my definition of cold calling. And to me, cold calling really happens when you know nothing about another company. I mean, that truly is cold. In fact, you know, we call it rigor mortis. We <laughs> say, okay, you know, that is so cold that it's dead. You know, you had to dig it up and, uh, you know, open up the coffin and, and pull it out. So that's basically when you just know no information. And so, you know, w there's, there's ways of warming a, a cold call up. And the best way is really to do your homework, be prepared, and then you're no longer making a cold call. In fact, you can turn them into a hot contact. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, I know that in working with, you know, thousands of different <laughs> businesses, the challenge is, you know, that, that fear, that, con that concern about, you know, calling people, connecting with people. And it's really, you know, the necessity of creating a bigger pool of opportunities for doing business, you know, connect, creating a larger, you know, network of people that you're, that you're you know, including in your, on your team to grow your business. And it's the more people that you're networking with, the more people that you include in that pool of of uh, you know on your team I consider I you know I consider that you're constantly growing a team of people your customers are part of your team so it's like you know how are you expanding that team yeah and in fact um, you know that reminds me of the my favorite theory in within sales is the six degrees of separation theory you know in which you know anyone on the planet can be connected to any other person on the planet through a chain of, of acquaintances that has no more than five intermediaries. And, you know, it happens all the time. You know, you always say when you meet someone, wow, what a small world. And that small world just keeps on shrinking. And a really good mindset to have when you start the process of, and let's just not even call it cold calling anymore, mm -hmm. it's really selling. So you're going right. to start your selling process. What, what is the first thing we're going to do? Well, we're going to say there's associations here, there's connections, there's people who know people, and let me map it out and figure out how I can get an introduction into a company that I want. Now, what's interesting, too, is that if you have done your homework and if you're working for a business in which you cater to a per particular industry, say, for example, then most of those people in that industry all know each other. So if you have clients in that industry, obviously the, the next thing to do that's simple is ask your clients, hey, who do you know at ABC, you right. know, et cetera. And um, that's worked so well for me over the years. You know, I've been doing this for over 20 years, and invariably you will always find a connection one way or another. Well, what you're really talking about is building relationships with people. Exactly. And business is really a function of relationships. And, you know, and it, working with a coach, you know, the value of having a coach is, is the, that a coach will continue to remind you that your job is to create relationships. And, and really, you know, where I come from is the fact that we're already here on the planet and that we're already breathing the same air and that we're already, you know, a human being on the planet. We're already related. <laughs> you know, so it's like, you know, if I come from the fact that, that uh, you know, if you're in business and I'm in business, we're already connected. Mm -hmm. 
So therefore, there's really nothing we have to do to get related. You know, some people operate like, you know, I need to get to know you, I need to know something about you. So I, I actually start from the premise that we're, you know, you're in business, I'm in business, we already belong to the same club. Right, we're all, we already have a lot in common. Exactly. You know, if you, if, you know, particularly if you own a business, you know, we, we belong to the same, you know, same sorority or same, you know, fraternity. fraternity. Yeah, same everything. You know, so it's, there's an already, already immediate connection. And that, you know, and that's, you know, all I have to do is, you know, say hello and know that you're in business and start from there. So I, I start from an automatic, immediate relationship. And I think what's important about that, Ralph, is that a lot of times when people don't think that way, their mindset isn't where it needs to be before you initiate the call. So if your mindset is a very positive, very, oh, I already know this person, then your whole attitude and your confidence is going to project, you know, if it's a phone call you're going to make, for example, right. on the phone. If you're truly believing this, if you're not truly believing this, so you got to really convince yourself before you pick up that phone, um, you have to truly believe it, and then the phone call will go way better. Right. Well, we, we actually should look at why are we calling people? Well, we're calling people because we are hoping to create a, or further, since we're saying we're already related, further our relationship Excellent. into one in which we're providing a tremendous amount of service and they're buying it from us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's really, you know, if, if you're in business and you have a product, it's really a function of introducing yourself and your product and what's available to other people. Right. It's really introducing yourself and making what you have available, you know, you know, known to other people. Mm -hmm. And and also known in a way in which it's better than what somebody else is offering. So there's that additional piece mm -hmm. to it that what you have is the, you know, Cadillac so to speak of that type of product or service right. and that they just can't live without it. Yeah. <laughs> so you've got to create that sense of urgency too so that they'll actually act and buy from you. Right. Because yeah, business starts with selling. Right. You know, every, everybody's position in the business is in sales. If, you know, if you're in a business and you're, you know, you're operating in a company, your position in the company you know, is connected to sales. You know, if you're the receptionist, you're selling. If you're in the accounting department, you're connected to selling. You know, everyone, everyone should see how does my position contribute to sales? Because everyone is, everyone has some contribution to the sales function. Yeah, you know, it's interesting that you say that because um, I remember we had, um, I worked a, you know, a number of consulting firms, mm -hmm. and there was a, a target company where everyone knew that one particular decision maker, his assistant made all the decisions. Mm. And in terms of who she would put through to him or not. Right. And she would say, you have to take this call. So you never really called his direct number. You always wanted her first. Right. And in that way, she was basically the, the person that you were selling to. But also, she's got a selling job to do with her boss because... If, if the call she puts through aren't really going to add value, then he's not going to let her do that anymore. Mm -hmm. So it's like even even the receptionist, even the person right. answering the phone is, is trying to sell. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, so it's, you know, w in, when you look from that standpoint, you know, that everyone in the company is in sales. You know, and then, so it really, f it puts that s perspective on, you know, we're, given that we're all selling, then we're all creating relationships with people. In other words, you know, if, if, if I'm the person taking the money from the client, you know, it's how am I contributing to sales? Mm. Because if I'm, you know, if I got an attitude while I'm taking their money, uh, it's, it could have an impact on sales or future sales. You know, so it's how am I building the relationship? Mm -hmm. You know, I just had a situation this morning where I, I was, you know, paying at a, at a, at a firm that I was doing business with, and that the lady left me with the impression that th their prices were too high. Huh. And, you know, it's like she wasn't happy. I said, 
you know, I said, you know, she was the cashier, and I says, oh, you have the best job here, and she says, not really. Huh. You know, it's like almost like it was a pain to take the money. Huh. And uh, I was left with, you know, she was dissatisfied that she had to take the money because prices were too high. Yeah. So it's like, and now I have a concern that prices are too high. And, you know, that 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 leads also to another, um, you know, concept that I've been thinking about also, and that's, you know, people talk about customer service, but they don't talk about it exactly within the sales setting.